It was the wrong bear. That's what leaders in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park are saying about a bear euthanized after an attack on a teenager earlier this month. That means the bear that did it could still be out there. News 13's Rex Hodge has the new details tonight. After the June 6th attack, rangers worked quickly to find the bear in the Hazel Creek area. The next day, they shot one bear which ran off. The day after that, they trapped another bear. It was that trapped bear that biologists put down, but DNA analysis now shows that was the wrong bear. It was a Saturday night when 16-year-old Gabe Alexander and his father Greg, visiting the Great Smokies from Ohio, were camping in the National Park not far from Fontana Lake. A bear dragged Gabe Alexander from his hammock, like this one. His father fought the bear off. Despite serious injuries, Gabe is recovering. When wildlife biologists found a bear near the Alexander's campsite, they shot it, concerned about public safety. It ran off in the rain, and they couldn't track it. By the next morning, a bear was caught in a culvert trap at the campsite. And at that time, we could not determine that it wasn't the same bear from the night before. It was euthanized, and DNA samples were taken. DNA was also taken from the recovered bullet that struck the bear from the night before and from Gabe Alexander's hammock. It was not linked to the male bear that we euthanized from the trap, but the DNA was linked with a 65% match to the bear that was shot at. But Ranger Dana Sowen says they can't determine with certainty that bear is dead, with the possibility other predators may have carried away its carcass. What the park is saying with certainty is this is the first time they've used a Pennsylvania lab that can return DNA results in a couple weeks and will work to change procedures so something as final as putting a bear down is done correctly. We are now going to be looking for a partner facility that might be able to humanely house an adult wild bear for us for up to two weeks while we wait for a confirmation linking an animal to a bear attack. Park visitors agree. Yeah, of course. I'm a biologist. I'm all for DNA testing. The Hazel Creek campground remains closed. Rangers will determine later in the week whether it's reasonably safe to reopen. Reporting from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Rex Hodge, News 13.